Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon. If you're new here, I am a law graduate from the University of South Africa and I'm just here to share my experiences on what it's like working in the legal field and everything in between. <laughs> Firstly, I just want to start this video by giving a huge, huge thanks to everyone who interacted regarding my last video um, about whether or not you want to do your PLTs. I got a lot of interesting responses, including it's not worth it, sis, don't do it. And go for it, it's totally worth it. So <laughs> thanks a lot to all those who interacted with me on my Instagram. Um, if you don't already follow me on my Instagram, here is the handle. I'll just put it somewhere here and then you guys can follow me on my um, social media. Today's video is actually going to be slightly different um, than the last video because I get a lot of questions from people um, asking me why I studied for the paralegal um, qualification. Am I an actual paralegal or did I do my LLB first and then become a part of uh, paralegal. So this video is just to explain why I chose to or opted for the paralegal course before the LLB course um, and then just give you guys a bit of background behind that and then just maybe it'll explain a little bit. So this video is just going to be short. It's going to just be a brief explanation on why I chose the paralegal course and um, yeah what I enjoyed most about it. So to start off with I went to college for a paralegal um, certificate. I will link the college in the description box below. If anyone is interested, please do go and check out their website. They have, if I'm not mistaken, three campuses. Um, but I speak under correction. The one I went to was in Randburg um, because I live in Joburg and then they have a Pretoria campus as well. And then I think the third one is in Cape Town, but I'm not, don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> I went to the Randburg campus and that's where I did my paralegal qualification. It was a one year um, course and it was, it covered everything, you know, your conveyancing, your, your wills and estates, your, um, your debt collection, labor law, all of it, ancillary, all covered everything. So the reason why I chose to, to do my paralegal course for the full year was um, I was still deciding on whether or not I liked the law <laughs> because you know growing up in a black household you have three options you are either an engineer a doctor or a lawyer so because I was still you know sussing out what I actually liked I decided to give it a try to do like a short course you know just to break myself into the industry and then that's why I decided to go with okay cape I've always been interested in the law so why not give it a try um also as lawyers maths not your best <laughs> but it, it it's neither here nor there so i went into the paralegal course with an open mind thinking okay i'm just gonna get into this see if i like it and lo and behold i actually ended up liking it a lot actually so yeah i enjoyed it um did it for a year and then the one thing that I will definitely give the school credit for is the fact that they have a requirement. Before you graduate, you have to do 120 notional hours at a law firm, okay? And they were very smart for doing that because one, it gives you the experience that you actually need because you are actually forced to come out of your comfort zone and go and apply for those jobs. So those volunteer positions. So I would email, I emailed every single firm that I could closer to um, the ending of the, the qualification and I, um, I ended up getting a position at a firm near where I lived, which was great because transport wise, I needed to, I didn't, I didn't drive at the time. So I had to, you know, make sure that I caught public transport and it wasn't too expensive and everything. So I ended up applying for a volunteer position or um, they, there was no volunteer position advertised. I just applied at a law firm, told them I need to do this as a requirement for my, my qualification and they responded and two weeks later i got an interview um and then they just told me okay great uh when can you start and i said immediately started volunteering and i kid you not i enjoyed it so much that i started even coming on days when i wasn't required to come in so i think my then employer recognized that industriousness and was like ah I could actually use you full time <laughs> and i always whenever i tell the story i get so emotional about it but like I don't know. It was the best 
thing that ever happened to me. That volunteering was the best thing that ever happened to me. Why? Because that's how I got my first job, firstly. And I worked there for two and a half years and I loved every single minute of it. They became like family. In fact, I, I ran into one of my old colleagues and I like almost shed tears because it, it had been so long since we had seen each other. Um, but they almost became like family and they became like family actually. So yeah, I would definitely advise if you are looking to break into the law, I would definitely advise doing something like that. Maybe even if it's not a paralegal course, it's like a higher certificate or a higher diploma in, 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 in your, um, you know, law so that you can break into the environment. One piece of advice that a lecturer had given me was that if you have your foot in the door in terms of for example if you volunteer for a position anyway and you have your foot in the door keep that foot in there because you really never know what's going to take you and i am definitely a living example of that so i would definitely definitely advise you to go for a short course in either paralegal work or something else so that has been the video on why i decided to do my paralegal course instead of going straight into the llb i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it added a bit uh, added a bit of clarity in terms of um why <laughs> so yeah i definitely would encourage someone to apply for the paralegal course see if you like it like i said the the link to the college i went to is in the description in this, the description box down below and you can have a look at it all right then bye